Okay, this here is a spark gap tube. It is a TG77 signal, signal light. I think it's from the 1950s. And it contains a very small amount traces of cesium-137. So we're going to test our GSM-500 with the test source. 137. Now, on this case, we will be able to measure the dose. Instead of just measuring counts per minute, we'll actually be able to measure the dose because it'll be very accurate. This instrument is calibrated um, with cesium-137 for dose measurement. So this is a pretty neat feature of this instrument. We can flip between counts per minute and dose rate. So, having has said that, let's start the measurements. And I'm going to go to counts per minute first. And turn on the speaker. Oh, there's the speaker. That's the background level. And let me put on the test source. See what it reads with the test source. Okay, so about a thousand counts per minute on the vacuum tube on counts per minute. So now we're going to look at the dose rate because that is cesium-137 which will give us an accurate reading. Let me flip the switch to dose and I'll zero it out. Let's take a look and see how many millirems is it uh, putting out. Uh, maybe point point oh three times 10 millirems. So this is reading in millirems because it is cesium-137. All right, let's go back to counts per minute. I'll zero it out. Now we are reading in counts per minute. 1,000. 1100 counts per minute. Now let's see how much of that is gamma. I'll flip this over. I'll do a reset. And let's see how much gamma we have. We got a peak hold. Peak hold holds the needle without moving back and forth. That's 400. Uh oh. Don't fall off now. 500 counts per minute of gamma, maybe. There it goes. 600 counts per minute. So we got about 600 counts per minute of gamma, which is not too bad. I mean, it's not, it's not, not high, but it's not bad. Okay, we hope you have enjoyed this video of the Signalite Spark Gap Tube with cesium-137. See you next time.